Alright, just unbox them. Here they are. I'm torn. I don't know. They're just so different. But they're Sony. Yeah, well, are they <laughs> historically? I don't know. You're a Sony fan, girl. Uh, I was. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. I mean, I don't know. First glance, they don't look like they're going to be great. <laughs> <What's Honestly. that? laughs> so there's the sub. That thing's not that small. This is kind of like the hub. So you plug in your HDMI and all the stuff to here. And this transmits wirelessly to those other speakers. Oh, so there's no wires. Well, you got to plug them into the power. All of them? Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to be setting them up here in my living room area where we're used to having some ELAC floor standing speakers as well as a SVS 3000 Micro Sub and a DT778. So uh, we got a projector set up here. Right now I am testing out this Hisense L9G and if you're wondering what that is, that is the Sing Cell Alpha. So we have you know, some pretty nice speakers over here so we know what good sound should sound like in this area. I think this is a good use case because this is not an ideal scenario just because of the layout. Um, but yeah, maybe more similar to a typical living room than my dedicated theater. All right, front right, front left, rear right, and right surround. <laughs> <laughs> Look inside, all right, so rear left and rear right. And those are the other two on top of the other speakers. And yes, we're off center because of the tree. So surprisingly, it wasn't very hard to find plugs for each one of these things. And so if you have a house where you have lots of plugs everywhere, you should be able to find a place for one of these. All right, so I just noticed that there's an ethernet port as well as this S center out. I assume that that's if you're using a Sony TV, you can use the TV as a center channel. Kind of interesting. Plugged it in, says hello. All right. All right, so I just plugged in the sub. You can see the size compared to the SVS 3000 Micro back there. It's larger. Here is the remote and here is the on-screen menu. I'm about to go through the setup process now. All right, just something I've just noticed real quick. I assume this is if you're using HDMI arc or if you have an input via HDMI. If you hit listen, then you have these other options, Bluetooth, Spotify, Chromecast, and 360 reality audio. Then you have your setup. So let's do that. About to do the calibration. Let's see how it sounds. The front or rear speaker are installed. Okay. All right. Earlier I said rear left and rear right, but that's actually incorrect because when you look at it from this side, that's rear right. So that's what I get for messing around with this guy. So one thing I found interesting was that it did bass and mid-range frequencies measurements separately from the high frequencies, which is technically correct. That's how I would prefer to do it. All right, some quick tests here. So first impression is just, I think this did one of the best jobs I've heard of compared to, uh, you know, an actual setup where you have the speakers in the proper locations. Definitely better than any soundbar I've heard when it comes to just kind of the immersive, immersiveness and also the placement of objects. So usually with a soundbar, when something goes behind you, it, you can hear it goes behind you and then to the front, but you can't really tell that it's going from left to right. Um, so, yeah, I think it did that pretty well. And the bass was actually pretty good. A little exaggerated, but it sounded decent. And actually, the height effects were actually pretty decent as well. So, interesting. This one is almost impossible unless you have an Oro setup, which is to try to recreate the, the heights. So, let's see. Here are two examples of recordings made at an airport. Experience how capable the Oro 3D system is at reproducing the exact position of an airplane as it passes by from taking off to flying directly overhead and finally disappearing above and behind you. In the 
this next demo, helicopters will slowly creep up from the back. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. <laughs> All right. 